Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 11th of December 2021. So PlayStation have acquired Valkyrie Entertainment. So Herman Holst, who's the head of PlayStation Studios, tweeted out saying, Today we announced Valkyrie Entertainment will be joining PlayStation Studios family. The studio will be making invaluable contributions to key PlayStation Studio franchises. So Valkyrie Entertainment is one of those studios that assists in the creation of games. They've assisted on games like God of War in the past and more. And basically, they don't necessarily make games for themselves, but they do support the development of the games and the work is vital. I've reported similar stories um, in the past. Like think Blue Point Games, for example, like they create amazing remasters and remakes, but they don't necessarily make games themselves, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I would say good luck to Valkyrie Entertainment. Hopefully it will go well um, in PlayStation. And then the next bit of news for today is Google are going to be bringing Android games to Windows next year. So the way it kind of works is, is that they will have some sort of app that will allow you to play mobile games on PC. Now, I know that a lot of my viewers don't really like mobile games from asking around and so on. Now, I personally love playing mobile games on PC. I personally use the Memu em emulator. And I would say that mobile games, when they're full screen on your computer, they actually can be very, very high quality. They can be very good. A lot of detail can be missed when you're playing on a tiny, tiny screen. So seeing some of the games really up close can really, really help you. So, and even playing games like, for example, PUBG Mobile with a keyboard and mouse is infinitely better than trying to use the touchpad. So, and that's why if you look at my main gaming channel, the, my PUBG tutorial video is my highest viewed video of all time. So I would say pay attention to that. Like if you're into mobile games or not, just let me know. Like, let's keep this conversation going. Let me know in the comment section. And then the last bit of news for today is uh, Masayuki Umura, who is a man who's credited of creating both the NES and the SNES gaming platforms, has died at 78 years old. So he died back on Monday, but there was so much other gaming news, I couldn't get around to it. So his contribution towards gaming was huge. I, pretty much every gamer I know had a NES and a SNES. So his, his contribution cannot be understated towards gaming. So rest in peace. Your work was, is very greatly appreciated. I would say that he is one of the people who had helped shape gaming into what it is today. So... Um, sending nothing but condolences, love and respect to his family and his survivors. So anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much for all the new followers as always. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.